Alright, so now I'm going to give you an introduction to a typical Japanese washlet, as they call it. The first thing you'll notice when you walk into the bathroom is a set of slippers. These are specifically for the bathroom. They keep your feet warm from the cold tile, and since you don't wear shoes in a Japanese household, they protect your feet by keeping dirty bacteria on the floor from entering any of the other rooms. Compared to a simple porcelain hole on the ground, these super toilets have an added western touch and have completely surpassed that. On the side of the toilet, you'll see a control panel with many different functions. This button right here, the, the blue one, is called the Oshiri, which cleans your butt. The third function, uh, the pink one right there, is the bidet button which cleans the whole general area. The dial over here is for strength control for the water pressure. And now, there's the toilet paper. So when you'd like to wipe, you can control the amount of toilet paper that comes out here. Now I'm going to flush. You'll notice that a faucet fills up the toilet bowl and you can wash your hands at the same time, which is environmentally conscious. It's very common that most public bathrooms don't have hand soap, so I highly recommend that you carry your own. Always thinking about everyone at home, and I'm sending my love from a typical bathroom in Japan.